Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. It's me, Paul Neal. I know it's been a while since we've done one of these kind of reactions. Um, but I just thought we would on the fact that Jeff Hendrick is linked uh, with Ace Milan. Sky Sports have reported that um, he's basically linked because he's out of contract with Burnley in the summer. Um, I mean, Robbie Brady was kind of in a similar boat, but they had an option to extend his deal by a year. So they've done that with Robbie Brady but with Jeff Hendrick they, they they haven't really renewed it and it's a bit strange because he's obviously been a big part of Sean Dyche Burnley side since they've started I suppose doing well um he came in after the Euros and he's, he's done decent for them but he's been more of a kind of utility player than I would say his natural kind of position would be like an attacking midfielder which he hasn't really been playing for for Burnley, I mean, he's been put out wide, right, and kind of mixed around everywhere on more of a defensive job, obviously playing with Burnley. Whereas if you went to somewhere, I know it's not the AC Milan of old, but if you went to somewhere like an AC Milan where he was allowed to you know, be up the pitch a bit more and get on the ball and maybe bring other players into play as well as getting on the end of crosses and arriving late into the box, I think it could actually work out as a really beneficial thing for for both Jeff Hendrick and for Ireland I mean if he's playing a kind of continental type of football with Ace Milan I mean there's no reason to say that he can't you know really be a, a, a big part of, of Stephen Kenny's I suppose European Euros campaign sorry um, and then leading into the World Cup because that's ultimately uh, everybody's saying now that that's ultimately what Stephen Kenny's going to be judged on is the World Cup campaign so I mean if Hendrik did go to H Milan, I don't think it's as bizarre and as, uh, you know, outrageous as, as other people think it actually is. Because, in all reality, it's um, it's actually a positive thing. I mean, how many times have we done videos and came out and said that we would like to see someone like uh, uh, Troy Parrott or any of the younger lads going to Germany or? Holland or whatever, Syria, La Liga, whatever. If you know they're good enough, but obviously people are going on. Oh, oh, it's AC Milan, and you know if they've won the the European Cup and the Champions League so many times. But in reality, it's you know AC Milan are kind of like dare I say it, Spurs or or maybe even Everton at the minute in regards to Syria. So they're not exactly like Juventus or or Inter for for that matter. So. They're kind of in a bit of a transitional period themselves, and they've had they've signed kind of bizarre signings in the past. Um, I I, I think of um Kevin Prince Boateng, and there was other players that they signed. I didn't think that you know they were they were shoe ins to sign for them. I thought they were a bit strange ones, especially you know Boateng, and I think there was um there was another, I can't think of his name now, but there was there was um, Sully Montari I think went there too, or did he go to Inter? No, he went to Inter. Um. But there's been bizarre signings. I mean, the, 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 they used to sign players off each other all the time and probably bigger back then because they were bigger clubs. But I just think if Hendrick is allowed to, to, I suppose he will be allowed to speak to them at this point and maybe sign a pre-contract if he was to go. But I just don't see what's the what's the, the problem if he does go or what's the, you know, people, I've seen a lot of negative uh, headlines towards him online and I just didn't really get the, the negative headlines I mean surely we should be happy that one of our players is going to such a really good club now the, I, the reason I say really good club and not really you know a top club because they're not a top club at the moment they will obviously get back there one day I mean they're too big of a club not to but what, it, it could be a good thing for Hendrick to go over there and why not see how he gets on and why not get behind him I do think that if 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 Hendrick is to to go to AC Milan, I do think I do see it as a beneficial thing to for Ireland, and I do see it as beneficial for for himself and for his career. I mean, he's twenty seven, twenty eight now. He's still got a good four or five years left in him at a high level. That he why not go over and see how he gets on in Syria? Why not? There's other Premier League clubs linked to him as well. Which could be good as well if he if he's if he stayed here, but I I don't see any harm in him going abroad. I I understand if Mick was still in charge because I know he wanted players staying in and around, in, uh, Ireland and the UK, so therefore he could see them more. But I mean, 
you can get Serie A everywhere. So it's not like a case of they don't have to actually go to the match and watch them. Although I know they would like to, uh, if that is the case. But I, I just see it being a, a positive. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments anyway regarding it because I'm not going to really dwell on it too much. But I just thought I'd do a little video and kind of give my two cents on it because it's been a while. Uh, but anyway, I hope you're all doing great and uh, you know I've kind of missed you. I know the weather's been fantastic and, and so start leaving your comments and uh, engaging and interacting in the comments again because. I've missed that to be honest with you and um, I hope everybody who is a fan of the show has been keeping safe and uh, all the family members are, are well and just yeah um, we really appreciate all your support and obviously throughout this we've managed to keep getting good guests on it's kind of dried up now but um, we, we do it all for you guys so as I said um, drop a like on the video if you wouldn't mind and uh, we'll speak to you soon thanks for watching okay